Dermatology update, 13th of March 13. Okay, so in my last dermatology vlog, I told you I had finally got an appointment to see a dermatologist and had been to see one in my local hospital to try and identify what was causing my eczema to keep flaring up, um, as bad as it does and as often as it does. Um, I've always had eczema since I was about six months old. However, since starting college nearly two years ago, my flare-ups are a lot more reoccurring and aggressive. Um, and I've, I'm now at a point where my eczema is pretty much flared up the whole time and doesn't go or respond to anything. Um, and I've been given such as the emollient creams for bath and, for the bath and shower, including oil and time, steroid creams, etc. Um, if you saw my last vlog, then you'll know I put on four steroid tablets a week and then reduced by five milligrams, which is one tablet each week. And to take one antihistamine every morning as well. I've now been on the tablets for just over a week. And I'm now down to three steroid tablets a day and one antihistamine uh, anti day. At first, things seemed to be going great with them. And I wasn't feeling itchy or the burning irritation or sensation. Like, of needing to scratch, which was great. And I thought I may have finally found something that worked and a treatment for my eczema in the short term. As obviously steroid tablets can't be given in the long term, so they make you gain weight and stuff. Um, but hey, I was just glad something was finally working for me. Sadly, my instincts were wrong. And it now doesn't seem like the tablets are helping or working at all, um, as I still have the eczema on my hands, which up until recently I've never ever had it on my hands or fingers before. And I even unfortunately woke up this morning with areas on my skin, my hand open, being open and bleeding. So I'd obviously, you know, been scratching it in the night. Um, and I'm also now getting a lot of irritation and a burning sensation in my hands. The skin is quite dry and definitely itchy still and I've not been able to stop myself from scratching. And um, the other reason I wanted to do this update on how things are going with my skin and dermatology is because I received a letter in the post the other morning, I can't remember what, which morning it was, but anyway. Yeah, with the dates for my patch test, so that's quite exciting that things are now moving forward and I should soon know what's causing this and hopefully from there that they'll be able to like find me treatment or help or at least know what's causing it so I'm able to avoid it. We'll have a little contact with it. Um, my first appointment is scheduled for 12.30 on Monday the 16th, I believe. Um, I believe it is anyway off the top of my head, of June. Um, to have like, a mini interview with one of the dermatology nurses to work out what type of patch test and what sort of things to test for. And then to put the test on. And then on the second appointment on Wednesday, it's just to like, check if there's been any reaction. And then on the Friday, I will be getting the results. And then things go from there, really. Obviously I'll vlog about how those appointments go once I've had them. But yeah, I just thought I'd let you all know what's going on. Um, if the tablets don't work, the next course of treatment for me is for me to have a phototherapy, strip light therapy, to try to get rid of it that way, which I'll, if I have to have that, I'll have to have that done three times a week. But we'll just see how, uh, we'll just see what happens really, and I'll keep, keep you up to date. For now, I'm just glad to be under the right people and seeing a specialist. And knowing that something is being done about it, which to me is the main thing. And yeah, I've put some pictures in and I'll see you in my next vlog. See you soon. Bye!